and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Now, this Uber turbine wheel is an interesting one because without it, this same car with the same zero to 60 gets 315 miles. And now I believe 316 miles if you go with the long range edition. So that's a big drop just because of that wheel. And this is what we've seen in the past with Model X and Model S and some of the other ones where they have these big, beautiful, stylish rims, but they just eat your rain. So it's something to consider if you haven't ordered yours yet. Now, the first thing that really struck me when I looked at the Model Y in person after the unveiling where I saw it was just how good it looked. You know, it's one of those things where sometimes when you see pictures of it or you see it maybe at, at night with like I did at the unveiling event, it's different. And so seeing it up close in person, I actually really, really like this. At first, I thought this was more the uh, the soccer mom, soccer dad kind of vehicle. But no, with the performance package here with the spoiler, the red calipers, the 21 inch rims, the lowered suspension, all those things, this thing is sexy and stylish. I really, really like the way it looks. And something that I hadn't got to do prior was put it next to other Teslas. So when I had it next to a Model X, you could see that it's almost the same height, which is great because from my earlier memory of it, it seemed like just maybe a little bit bigger than a Model 3, but no, in fact, it's a very spacious vehicle. So when you sit inside of it, the, the full glass panoramic roof gives you a ton of headroom. And then just all around it, looking at it compared to a Model X, you can see that it almost matches the size and shape uh, almost identically. And if you don't have that spoiler sticking out on the Model X, which is like how mine is, where it has an active spoiler that goes down, it's the profile is almost identical. So this is actually a lot better than what I remember. I don't know how different it is from the unveiling. I'm sure someone will go pick apart that on Reddit somewhere. But overall the the size and the shape and everything i was really impressed with just having my eyes on it you know firsthand after seeing it several months ago and the first thing that i really wanted to check out was the trunk space and this is something that is the big distinguishing feature and the reason why me and my family are upgrading from our model 3 to this first off it has a power lift gate which works really well it operates very similarly to how my aftermarket one does on the three and how the built-in ones on the s and x do there's a button you push it it goes up it goes down basic stuff but inside of it this is where it gets a little bit more interesting so inside of the trunk space on the left you have these little levers and when you pull on those levers what you get is the seats fold down automatically and it almost looks motorized I, I don't think it actually is motorized because when you pull on them again nothing happens they don't they don't magically come back up that would be a really cool feature but when they're all the way down you have a ton of room here easily enough to lay in and go camping in or just put some bigger items that you maybe need to move around my wife does interior design and so a lot of times she'll have a piece of furniture a chair or something like that i go surfing a lot so i want to throw some boards back there wetsuits and all those kind of things this is going to be a incredibly functional vehicle and one of the crazy things is that there are two compartments underneath the flat trunk part the first one is pretty shallow and then there's a second one behind it where you would normally find the kind of under trunk or undercarriage space where you see here the charging cables and all that and there's also some side pockets there but this just increases and adds again to the functionality of this vehicle so it's kind of unique. I'm not sure what you're going to put over there. Maybe the charging connectors or some extra cables, water bottles, those kind of things. And it definitely seems bigger than the Model 3. So continuing with that theme of utility, the frunk is big as well. It's not as big as a Model X, of course, but much bigger than the Model 3. And an interesting bit is that it has this kind of donut on the top, which seals it. I'm not quite sure why it does that. Maybe if you don't want water to get in there, maybe that was an issue with some of the other ones. I've never Never seen that be a problem before in any other model but this has this extra donut kind of lip around the hood on the top of it which does seal it shut which i guess you know maybe it's for food left in there you don't want it stinking up the car or something like that so good size frunk it has kind of a hard great bottom and then of course you have a little tow hitch eye hole there that's if you're unfamiliar on the front of the car there's a round button it looks like when you when you pop that it kind of twists sideways it seems to break 想要看更多Tesla外的影片吗?
于信用卡网址留下姓名与手机号码，即可获得最新 Apple 手机抽奖的机会。其他抽奖细节将放在留言处。